Michael. Hey, man. It's a magic hour. Are you in position? Yeah, I'm here. You gonna let me in? All right, I'll see you in a sec. I know it's gonna hurt, and I did it. So, no, did we, you do it? Oh, did you yeah. did it today. No, no. So I did it. It's like yeah. so we were actually filming the another episode of the show, like in a restaurant, uh -huh. and I thought decided to be funny to put my finger in the thing, and he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he, no, his job is to clack that motherfucker. Yeah, and it's like finger or not. Yeah, yeah finger or not. There could be a baby in there. He's like, I don't that, care. That baby's head Clip. is coming off. Clip. Like a, a cigar. Like one of those cigar things, right? But for Tom. a baby. Right? Commitment. You got to yeah. commit to your well, job. No, this yeah. motherfucker committed the bit. And so what I'm saying is. I put it in there and it clamped down. It was like, it hurt a little bit and I was like trying to ham it up. So I was like, ah! But the whole restaurant was full of people. Yeah. And so I see now that that was not you my You screamed <laughs> too loud for the environment. It was not a strategic play. Well. Is all yeah. I'm saying. You can't, you know, in those split second bit moments, deciding to go for it or not, you know, you can't always consider all of the no. external the, factors. The externalities, if you will. Right. Yeah. Now, are you ready to murder each other? Which, by which I mean, communicate in the dialectic of magic. Play Magic the Gathering? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought this was like actually a murder show though. Oh, no, listen. It's, it's a multi-phase, it's like the launch phase of a rocket. Mm -hmm. It's magic, then it's murder. Okay, great, great. We can change okay. the name of the show to Magic and Murder. Magic and Murder. I can't count and talk. That's really cool. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven cards. The number and I'm gonna piece. start with 20 and not 16. Well, that's gonna help you. I think so. Uh, so I'm not gonna draw on my first turn. That would be dumb. And against the rules. <laughs> it would. But I am gonna play uh, a guild gate, which comes in uh, tapped. And is a tasteful addition yeah, to the to, home. Yeah, to my garden. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna play a plains. Okay. And I'm gonna tap two to play a Johnny's Pride Mate. There's a two two. Whenever you gain life, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on a Johnny's Pride Mate. Hmm. Okay. So cool. I'm, we're, we're starting to see, we're starting to get a hint. If I ever get in the business of earning health, he's gonna be great. And now you have a two, two, and now I'm scared. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm just I, a poor, helpless little brain. Right now I dominate here. the board. <laughs> I know. What am I right now, <laughs> board control is mine. Board control. Uh, and then I'm done. of operations thing here. I'm gonna tap one and play an enchantment. This is a Johnny's Welcome. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I'm gonna gain a life. Oh. Okay, so you, got, so you got a couple of things going on here. So now, whenever you gain life, mm -hmm. you put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Yes. And then every time you play a character, I gain a life. creature, you gain life, which mm -hmm. makes the pride mate. Now see, you see. I don't want you to have that though. These cats. Just... Oh, you just want to take it back? Yeah. I, no. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. yeah, I can just discard it. Okay. No! <laughs> uh, just discard it. That's fine. <laughs> Let's see. And then... This is our guest. Right? I'm I sorry mean... I yelled. <laughs> I'm sorry I raised my voice. Uh, do I want to attack no. with the Johnny Pride Mate and possibly trade there? Vigilance, because... Yeah, no, I'm going to stay. Turn, I'm going to stay. Get a Creech. Yep. Right? I want to I get that plus one on there. Hot for Creature. <laughs> get one. <laughs> that one got me. <laughs> Just, yeah, I'm saying one turn later, one Creech, boop, yeah. bop. I know wow. how my deck works. Okay. I am. This is what I'm saying. Mm. I'm complete. Sweet. Right I enough. finally realized it. Right now, in this moment, but it's here like with it's... you, I, <laughs> with, with you the two all. of you. Every, you know, it took a lot. It My did. journey was long, but finally I got there. And you'll be even more complete. Yeah. In a moment. I will be. You know? 
target creature gets plus one plus one and gains death touch until end of turn. What's death touch? He can, he defeat can absorb them. both of these a holes. I done goofed. I got nothing. Well, you, you didn't goof. You just didn't know that I had that. I, you know, um, but I should have thought about it. Well, 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 keep in mind if he Having has a, a if he has a, yeah, he's, if he has a, a skull mm-hmm. over here. See, I just learned a hard lesson for the first time in magic. We're, we're gonna pay a close attention to the skull. Yep. Yeah. Well, now I know. Goodbye, uh, farewell, forever. We hardly knew you. My poor children. This is where it all turns around. Like Does this it? is it. Oh Are yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I just snowball from here. I can really only get more powerful. I mean that could also <laughs> be true. Uh, all right. So I like the idea of like having some mana to stick oh, around. I, I feel the I'm same gonna way. play my Boro Skilled Gate, which enters tapped, and I can't do anything about That's that true. this time. That's true. So that means I've got three mana left, and that means I'm gonna go ahead and unleash it. I'm gonna put down my blade instructor. Oh, she knows what she's doing. She's gonna nice. instruct us, and so that's this, this is what we need. It's, it's skills, mm-hmm. skill building. Yeah, is and it she, economy? Right, and she's a mentor. She's gonna help other people. She's gonna bring other people up with her. Yeah. You know, you need that fallback. I, yeah, so three one. Okay. Three, yeah. I'm gonna play Temple Garden. I'm gonna pay two life so that it comes out untapped. So I can help you. That doesn't bode well. No, this is a bad bode. <laughs> that bad bode, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tap all of them. This, the merchandise potential <laughs> is popping off. Tap five and play Regal Bloodlord. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, geez, this seems like a real He's a flying deep. creature with two four. So he is coming to play. No, he is coming to play. So I gain a life. And Bob gains this thing. Bob Catman. And at the beginning of each end step, if you gained a life this turn, create a 1-1 one, one black bat creature token. Oh Put my me in, coach. Gosh. Yeah, he's ready to play. Uh, that's, that's the bat. Yeah. Does it come with sound effects? I really oh. like that. I'm not making I am going to move. swing for a billion. I'm gonna play Justice Strike. Okay. Uh oh. On this freaking vampire dude who I do not like. So I'm gonna tap these two. And that means that what does this do? he deals damage to himself equal to his power. So he kills himself? <laughs> okay. Self so he, he bites himself and drinks his own blood. Ah, well, well, never in blood loop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna block a Johnny okay. with my so block block seven challenger. and take one. Oh wait, I forgot that was seven. I was looking at the two two. Yeah. Um, so then I would lose him. So I'm, but I only have five. So I have. Yeah. To. But, and he can't block the bat because the bat has flying. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's what happens. So. Okay. So you don't take the eight, but you do take the one. Very well. He's very small. All right. Well, I survived. You did. I'm top decking now. So. <laughs> Are you, you complete? I'm completely out of cards, yeah. Let's find out if whatever card is on the top <laughs> of my deck can save, save me. Save this game. That's the question, no. Okay. No. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna play this uh, land, so I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna fish for, I mean, at this point, what does it matter? It's, it's about, it's about playing your way. It's about these last few moments of life <laughs> that I am enjoying. Just nourish them. It's, it's gonna be that moment okay. that you, you, you're gonna write a haiku. Like you're gonna look out at this, this peaceful valley, the moments before. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's go ahead with the sacred foundry because hey. if I'm about to die, I might as well. Yeah, you wanna gaze upon it. I got, I got nothing else to do. So. Uh, all right, well. It's, uh, you know, it's been an honor. Well. And a privilege. Okay. So, is it my turn? Yeah. Uh, so, I, will, I will hit. Well, look, at least I'm gonna do this, okay? Okay. What I should have done in the first place is justice strike. And I'm gonna justice strike a Johnny. Target creature. And he can take himself the heck out of the game. to itself, yeah. 
And that's just so, I'm just so, so done. cool. And then the uh, last. And then you just take the two. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is. The last card, this is where the guillotine strikes. Yeah. Well, it would have strikes. been if I had any creature, but I don't. Target creature, oh, get one. So, that is the game. That's the game. Thank you very much. Well played, sir. Well played. Yeah, see, what I should have done is I should have yeah. played my. I should have saved all my mana, not played the um, Swath Cutter Giant, yeah. and just taken whatever I needed to in order to just to strike a Johnny before I played him, yeah. so that then I could have had the chance. Because yeah. with the Swath Cutter, I could have taken out all these minions. Well, and that's like what I thought was gonna to, happen, yeah. yeah. And then this is the Johnny killer for sure. Yeah. yeah. But then and the vampire didn't... over here, the 4-4, four, four, is just yucky. Mm -hmm. You just don't want him around with mm -hmm. the bats. But with the two of these, once those two two are off, the stone cutter giant yeah. hangs out 24-7. He, he, he's gonna have to work pretty hard to get through him. And every time he attacks, he wipes all the tokens. Yeah. Like, yeah. That would have actually given me a bad. chance. Yeah. Oh, I think I think so, like legit. But I like you know what, here's the thing though. I like when I can see like that was the moment when I made the decision that lost the totally. game. Not like, oh I, don't, I gee, yeah. I don't know. That was so you know, I learned. Now I yeah. know. And now I will always know about the justice strike and yeah, how exactly. to use it. Well, in both of these decks, I think had you know specific cards that you were supposed that you have to get out and play in the right way for them to really work. Mm -hmm. So you know your first time playing a deck, it's always tough. Well, thanks. Yeah. It was fun anyway. No, we learned, exactly. we laughed, we cried, we we became we whole. We did it all. We, we became complete. <laughs> we became complete over and over again. the game but I feel like I still feel like a winner because I kind of assumed I'd come in and have no idea what I was doing or doing wrong but being able to identify that feels really good so I don't know maybe it's an excuse for being a loser but I feel like a winner. My experience was very positive I think mostly due to the winning. Well uh, yeah obviously obviously victory has a, a patina. Yeah you know? I, I find success thrilling. Invigorating. Yeah. I think the best part of playing today was kind of doing it collaboratively. Like, we were all in this together, and even though I lost, we were all kind of trying to learn the strategies together, and learning from Mike's deck was cool too, so it makes me want to play more Magic. My favorite part, honestly, I'll tell you my favorite part of this one, Yeah. was after the game, when we were sitting down, drinking coffee, and talking about it. Like, that, those two decks were very interesting to me. Yes. And the sort of discussion that followed the game about how they both worked, I found fascinating. I have the utmost respect for Mike and Jerry. Oh, I'm a huge fan. This is the only context I've ever played with Anna. And I found it fascinating. They're not someone I'm gonna like model my life after, you know? But I feel like my respect may have grown a little bit. Like maybe I'll name a goldfish after one of them. Like that, at least, I have now. Great job repeating that question as though it was your own. I'm a professional.